Hi, Arnoldo. Hi, Gavi. Good evening. Uh, thank you, Arnoldo. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Gavi, how are you doing? Uh, hi, Angelica. How are you? Hi, teacher. Better. Thank you. Uh, are you feeling sick? A little, a little. Oh, what's yeah. wrong? Is it just like yeah. allergies or something? No, it's flu. Give me a second, because no le escucho. I don't know if it's my internet. Oh, me, it's not me. It's, oh, yeah, like. Good evening. Oh, good evening, Helen. Oh, se le pega un poco fuerte, Angelica, right? No había escuchado su voz. I couldn't hear you yesterday. So I was not sure. Oh, but ya está mejor. Are you feeling a little better? Yes, a little better. The medicine have a uh, good effect. Ah, so. okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned yesterday that, that you were feeling sick, but I didn't know exactly what was wrong. Hasta ahorita que le escuché la voz, so I was like, okay. Oh, well, pero me alegro, mis que ya está mejor. I'm happy you're feeling a little better. Uh, Belen, thank you for joining. Uh, Helen, great to see you. Good evening. Um, Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you, miss? Nice to see you here. Enrique, hello. Hi, hi. Um, I see, yeah, yeah, that's Enrique. Judy, good evening. How are you doing, guys? Andrea, thank you for joining. Nice to see you. And uh, I see Enrique third, and uh, I see somebody else. Okay, guys. Uh, well, thanks a lot for joining. Really nice to see you guys. Llegamos ahora a nuestra sesión número 20. So we are done with session number 20. And pretty much, guys, estamos terminando la próxima semana, right? We'll be finishing uh, next module. Well, this module next week, uh, I know that intermediate se siente un poquito largo, but guys, están avanzando super bien. So you are like moving forward a lot and really, really fast. Um, gracias por acompañarnos, guys. Gracias por su camarita. Hi, Francisco. Good evening. Um, mm, mm, let me see. I think I have somebody else. How you doing, guys? ¿Cómo está su martes? Everything okay? Everything good? Good evening, teacher. Hello. How you doing? Are you still at work, Francisco? No, not anymore. Um, no entendí, teacher. ¿Sigue, ¿Sigue trabajando? Are you at work? Eh, no. Oh, okay. eh, pedí, pedí permiso. Eh, dos semanas para poder okay. terminar. Oh, ok. Para terminar el módulo. Sí. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. That's nice. But is that your, like your vacation? ¿Es eh, parte de su vacación, too? No. Eh, en mi segundo trabajo, eh, pues, voy a continuar hasta dentro de 15 días. Oh, so you got a second job? Yes. Oh. I am. I am. I am working delivery. Oh, so that's why in the noche when you say that you are going home, so es que va saliendo de su otro trabajo. Eh, hey, that's very Desde nice. Salgo de mi trabajo a las cuatro y treinta y entro al otro a las cinco. Oh, okay. Wow. But thank you so much then. Just sé que afecta el bolsillo, pero qué genial tenerlo acá. It's really nice to have you here. And uh, y pues es una semana más, you know. It's only one week, right? Uh, we are finishing by Tuesday. Um, so hopefully no le va a afectar mucho, you know, talking about money. <laughs> so I really hope so. Bueno, gracias. Okay, but thank you. Enrique, thank you for joining. Really nice to see you, Kenya. Good evening. Ruben, thank you for joining as well. Well, guys, uh, it's really nice to see you. Gracias por acompañarnos el día de ahora. Um, so, vamos a terminar la unidad número tres, right? Empezamos ya con nuestra última unidad. Eh, solamente hacerles el breve recordatorio que ahora tenemos que terminar la sección número tres en la plataforma. 
uh, para poder ir al día and uh, evitar cualquier tipo de atraso, right? So, si todavía tienen algún ejercicio pendiente, guys, let me know. Si hay algún ejercicio que les esté causando dificultades, um, you can bring it here y lo podemos revisar, right? We can definitely uh, check it together. Now, um, tenemos un par de, de cosas pendientes from unit number three. Una de ellas es, son las questions, las indirect questions. El día de ayer practicamos un poquito la like being a boss, being an employee, asking eh, questions in a very polite way. So el día de ahora vamos a presentar esas conversaciones. Vamos a practicar un poquito más, right, para que sea más, uh, a little easier. And uh, tenemos también un poco de control de lectura. So let's get started, guys. Um, I have a debate question that I want to go over uh, with you. Uh, el día de ayer hablábamos de hombres versus mujeres, you know, and a little bit on that. But today I have something that I found can be quite interesting. Um, and guys, <laughs> I would really like to listen to your opinion on this. Um, so, no sé si son fan de horror movies, uh, horror stories, I don't know. But um, this is something that I have found uh, that for some adults, uh, clowns are scary. Well, guys, what do you think on this? Uh, do you feel scared whenever you see a clown? Or what do you think? What comes to your mind when you see a clown? Do you feel scared by clowns? Guys, is anybody like uh, threatened or frightened when you see a clown? Hi, Miss. Good evening. Hello. Hi, Andrea. Great to hear you. Uh, in my case, I love the It no. movies. No. And the clown is, yes. I What's really your favorite? Like these movies. What's your favorite it. movie? It. But the, the, the old movie or the remake? Like the no, most the recent remake. movie. Uh -huh. Oh, the most yes, recent the movie. Mm -hmm. Have you ever read the book? No, I no lo puedo conseguir. Oh, you haven't gotten, you haven't, mm -hmm. I haven't gotten the book. I haven't gotten. So I mean, oh, okay. <coughs> well, so I haven't gotten it. Oh, all right. Well, uh, ese es el libro that is one of the books que siempre he querido leer, you know. But as you said, I haven't gotten it either. <laughs> Creo que en el país no hay. Because I haven't found it. Guys, si saben de algún lugar donde se pueda conseguir o que tengan en existencia, let us know. <laughs> but Andrea, <laughs> why? Yeah, because, but in English, right? Andrea, in English. Ah, eh, eh, o sea, quiere el libro en inglés. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Important, but in in PDF. Pero es que no es lo mismo, Miss. <laughs> no, no, never. A, a book eh, que sea así en físico es totalmente diferente. Yes, yes. definitely. Yes. In PDF, I read, but maybe 30 minutes. Y, y mi vista se cansa demasiado. So I get, I don't know, tired. But guys, les gusta leer. Do you like reading? Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Great to hear that. Thank you, Gaby. No worries. Uh, so, espero que llegue sana y salva. Let us know when you're home. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, I think that only in La Casita. Wait, it's not La Casita. Yeah, La Casita. I think it's called. Um, but a long time ago, I saw the book. Pero estaba super expensive, almost $40. I was like, wait, no. <laughs> I mean, sí, lo quiero leer, but I wouldn't pay $40 for that. But anyways, but Andrea, in English, <laughs> you have to read it in English. Es super genial, guys. Si les gusta leer, uh, lean libros en inglés. That's super nice. No es el mismo sentimiento que español, you know. It's not the same thing. Guys, alguna vez han leído en inglés? Have you ever read any book in English? Yes, yes teacher. Ah, okay. Frank Frankenstein. Ooh. Alice in Wonderland. Okay, Frankenstein is one of my favorite. Okay, Alice yes. in Wonderland. 
Nice. I love reading. So that is super nice. No se siente lo mismo, you know. In Spanish, le matan. Le matan, you know. <laughs> like a lot of feelings, la emoción, but in English, it's like the real thing. Okay. So it, talking about movies. Uh, but me llama la atención that Andrea loves that kind of movies. Guys, what about the rest? Um, do you agree with this one? The clowns are scary. In my case, teacher, I don't like the clowns. Okay. I really like the horror movies. It's one of my genre, uh, my favorite genre in movies. Mm -hmm. But obviously, the classic. For for example, in the case of it, I love the the old one, uh, Pet Cemetery. The first oh, one too. Pet Cemetery. Okay. Yeah, it's it's not a horror movie. It's uh, maybe the genre not is that. It's kind of suspense mm -hmm. or something like that. But it's very awesome. Oh, all the movies classic for me are very nice. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so but, but the clowns, no. For me, no. The okay. movie are great. It is great. Sorry, but no. In the real life, no, I can't. Oh, but this is not necessarily horror uh, movies only. But imagine, guys, that you go to I don't know, Consuma to San Salvador, and you see a clown, just a normal clown, not something as spooky, not como este, right? <laughs> not so spooky, but just a clown. So, what what are your thoughts? What comes to your mind? ¿Alguna vez lloraron de pequeños whenever you saw a clown? I don't like them, to be honest. Guys, yeah, I, I don't like them. Uh, 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 it's really annoying me. They, oh, I it, yes, I, I don't feel like uh, something is funny for them. I don't oh. know. It's, uh, I don't like them. But it is annoying, like the jokes? Or uh, just to see them, like the costume. <laughs> oh, yes. okay. Okay, interesting. So uh, clowns are annoying. Not a scary, but annoying. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and I like that uh, it movies. Oh, the, okay. the, the, the old like horror movies. The, yes, horror ah, movies. Okay. Very interesting, guys. What about the rest of you? Hi, Carlos. Good evening, Imelda. Thank you for joining. Rafael, hello. Good evening. When I, when I drove, uh, because um, a long time ago, I had a car. So when I drove, uh, a lot, I receive a lot of comments because the clowns in the streets are maybe very da da uh, dangerous. For example, ah, in El Salvador. Aha, okay. Yeah. This is one. And when I was a child, yes, I scared about the clowns too. Okay, you were Maybe scared. Maybe not to cry, but yeah, for me it was very scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally gotcha. Okay, okay. That is a, something very interesting about El Salvador's or Salvadorian's culture. Um, I have heard what Belen says that clowns are dangerous because sometimes they can be thieves. Have you heard that before? Or has, I don't know guys, do you have any story you want to share with us about thieves? What is the meaning of thieves first? What is the meaning of this word? Ladron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Hi, Imelda. Great to see you. Um, so, do you have any story with clowns uh, or thieves dressed up as clowns? Like wearing a costume and they, I don't know, robbed people? No, nobody. Have you I ever been heard, a I just heard about they, uh, they are a thieves teacher, but not not a personal experience. Maybe oh. some friends told me about it mm -hmm. uh, because the friend of a friend, and it, it's about how they maybe confusing people about the, the very funny personality, and then they get closer, too much closer to the cars. And, and even teacher, it could be a lie. 
for example, because the personality and maybe the makeup and they already thought the the, the, the facts that I already have about the crown that makes us feel a little scary about it. But I don't know. It's 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 something different, and the people uh, see something different, like dangerous. For example, it could be I don't know. That could definitely be it. Uh, I think that Carlos wanted to share something. Hi, Carlos, tell us. Hello, yeah, one friend of mine told me once in the, in the bus, uh -huh. uh, woke up at uh, two o'clock, and they started to make jokes to everybody. And, uh, a little bit funny. Okay. But when the show finished, uh -huh. uh, they pass uh, by the side in the, in the seat and asking for the collaboration. Oh. When, when they finish, they talk in between them, mm -hmm. the club, and how much you will recover ask to, to the other. Mm -hmm. and, and he says, mm, almost nothing. Okay, then one more way hacia adelante. Oh, forward. Okay. Uh, the other mm -hmm. is getting in the back and they say to the people, okay, we make you smile too much. Now we are going to make you cry. No. It was, for, it was the money and they took a uh, gun. <laughs> what? It's so, about the, the bus. Oh, but they didn't ask for like for a collaboration. They didn't ask for help, but they what did they take? Money, cell phones, or everything. everything. So they were they were thieves. Yeah. They robbed yeah. them. Oh yeah, it, when nobody gives enough. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Okay. That's, uh, wow, that's crazy. Because uh, first they were like, okay, help us, give us something. So first, pidieron, right? They asked for help. Yeah, wow. Yeah. wow, okay. For hell, you know, almost nobody mm -hmm. gave some money. Gave them money, wow, okay. So, no solo era leyenda urbana salvadoreña, but it was like true. Yeah, he um, was a closer friend. Oh, okay. Well, guys, so now we know. So they can definitely be dangerous sometimes. Thank you for sharing that story, Carlos. So, wow, I didn't know that that was like something real as we may think that it is not. It's super sad, teacher, because, uh, because it's a lot of people that had that, um, I don't know how to say profession. It's not, I, I am otra palabra, pero no lo sé. I don't know if this would be like an occupation. Occupation. I think, yeah, uh -huh. I, think. Yeah. Uh, I don't know they, if that's a, a lot of people that have that occupation and it's very sad because uh, they ruin, uh, ruin the reputation. The reputation, yeah. That is for real, right? Because whenever we will see a clowns in the future, we will think, oh, they are thieves. So yeah, you have a point there. Hi, Delmi, Iris, good evening, girls. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. I guess I saw somebody else. Tell me, what do you think? Um, we are discussing here if clowns are scary. What do you think about this? Um, yes, yes. Um, they are scar scary. Um, so in the, I don't know, have you ever, um, I don't know, had a bad experience with clowns? No, teacher. 
not so far, but they are, I mean, no este payaso, right? <laughs> no necessarily this clown, but in general, sir, so, si dan miedo, are they kind of scary? Or, the, so what do you think? Um, Enrique, creo que solo Carlos hemos escuchado de boy. Enrique, what do you think? Are clowns scary? For me, no. No? Are they no. funny or what do you think about clowns? Cocolito is funny. Ah, okay. Yeah, you got Cocolito. Do you think that Cocolito is funny? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I think that that is kind of fun. But I have heard a lot of clowns that are kind of pervert i would say <laughs> uh or they say like really naughty things but yeah i agree cocolito is kind of funny guys do you like cocolito have you ever seen cocolito in action maybe once teacher uh, or, or they show uh-huh or like Jardin infantil i think he was in Jardin infantil right like a long time ago yeah. Or the, para quienes somos mayores, like el jardín de, I don't remember, guys. El, tío el jardín de la tía Bubu. Yeah, right, that one. Uh -huh, el jardín de la tía Bubu. But había otro programa, Jardín Infantil, I think it was called. I, I don't know, guys. Me siento tan mayor. <laughs> okay, so, but I just remember Tío Periquito. I First think it was, was called. Jardín Infantil. Oh, Jardín Infantil, and then Tia Bubu, right? Tia Periquito, no. Tia Periquito, eh, Chirajito. Prontito. Uh -huh. eh, eh. oh. oh, I'm happy now, so no soy la única. <laughs> I'm not the only one. <laughs> okay. Tito, Chirajito, Tío Periquito, y no recuerdo. Pizarrín. 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 Hasta una canción ahí en YouTube de ellos. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Wow, we need to look for that one. <laughs> yeah, I just remember Tio Periquito, guys, but I was like five or six years old. So I was a little girl. I don't remember very much. Okay, so maybe maybe it depends on the clown, right? But okay, I brought these and, and thank you for sharing your ideas. Sounds super nice. Guys, just a little a reminder here. We have the word thief, right? And we have the plural that is thieves. So ladron and ladrones, right? Thief, thieves. We have this one. Cuando hablamos de películas, we can use the word that we have here. So we can have, uh, for example, kind of movie. This is one way to call it. Or we can say movie. Y esa palabra la pronunciamos como genre. Uh, so gender. Es para género de masculino femenino. So we have the word gender, masculino femenino, but we have the word uh, genra, se pronuncia un poco extraño, but this is genra, que es para películas, right? Uh, so like movie genre, I prefer uh, the horror genre, so that is genre, all right? We have forward, creo que alguien nos comentaba que, uh, oh, Carlos, a story que se movieron hacia adelante. So we can say uh, the person, I don't know, went forward or came forward, que es hacia la parte de adelante, la parte frontal, right? And those are just a couple of important expressions. Guys, solamente pronunciamos esto and luego vamos con Belén. So, uh, repiten conmigo, please. Teeth. 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 Ok, y esto de acá no lo pronunciamos, pero vamos a pronunciar la V como V. So, thieves. Thieves. Exactly. Genra. Genra. Perfect, exactly. So, that is como el, el tipo de película, right? Like, kind of movie yeah. or movie genre. Mm -hmm. So, genre. And forward. Forward. Mm -hmm. forward. So forward, or algunas veces si les gusta el fútbol, van a ver forwarder, que es por lo mismo, right? Forward es adelante. And the, y si hablamos de fútbol, forwarder es la posición como delantero, right? So that is um, where you get the word forwarder as well. Mm -hmm. Dígame, Belén, tell me, tell me. 
Uh, just teacher and uh, very funny history and very short one. Um, when I was a child, I don't have I don't have a scare about the clowns. Uh, it was a horror movie um, that uh, freaked me out. It's kind of I, I couldn't sleep maybe for two weeks, and it's all fault of my sister because <laughs> she like uh, she told me that we'll see another movie, and then when I see that, imagine was Turkey, and it was awful because I already I had maybe nine years old okay. and it was very difficult to me to handle <laughs> so uh, yeah it was very creepy oh okay oh i like the word okay so give me just a second guys tengo otra palabra before i forget uh now that uh Belen mentioned the word creepy so que tiene que ver con la película de horror right so we have horror movies que por lo general son cosas raras uh and we have the other one that is called thriller so thriller, so lo que llamamos suspenso, right? Uh, guys, I don't know if you like thrillers. Algunas son horror, some of them are thrillers. Um, do you like thrillers? Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, teacher. Yes. Like this movie of so that's what I can come up with. Any other movie that is teacher, a thriller? You have, to look, you have to see the the movie of uh, the Silent of the Lambs. It's very so, very. But the Silent of the Lambs, isn't it Hannibal Lecter? Yes. Yes, yes. I have seen it. But solo la primera, right. Silent yeah. of the Lambs. I, I saw the first. But quiet the, Place? A Quiet Place. Ah, okay. Yeah, a Quiet Place too. Oh, A Quiet Place. Who is the, 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 the main actor, the main character there? A Quiet Place, A Quiet Place. Or what is the title in Spanish? Un lugar en silencio. Ay, qué difícil. <laughs> really, así se llama. That's the name. Yes, teacher. And oh. the main actor, no. Yes, the main actor is um, John Krasinski and oh. Emily Blunt. No, I haven't seen it. Oh, okay. Do you recommend this one? Is this, one? Is this good? Time. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Oh, acquired. You have to, obviously, add two of that movies. Have two right parts. Now. I have two parts, oh, yeah. So there is that is a sequel. Yeah, yeah. That's a sequel. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you know, um, I think I like, yeah, I like thrillers. They are good. Um, but I have seen A Quiet Place, nunca la he escuchado. I have never heard about it. But no hay nada paranormal, guys. Nothing like paranormal, que no me vaya a dejar no. dormir. <laughs> no, no, teacher. No, son, son unos extraterrestres. Ah, yes, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe some creepy images, but but not nothing that you hang you have to well you can but, handle it. But the silent of the lambs or Hannibal Lecter is more like psychological, right? A psychological yeah. thriller. Mm -hmm. Like very similar to Socks or Todo el Dolor. <laughs> so it's kind of gory, but yeah, it's kind of good. So guys, solamente FYI, le llamamos thriller, right? So all the, those, you know, um, suspense movies. So we normally, this is the way we call them. All right, guys. Nice. Nice to hear that. Yeah, we're almost kind of the quiet place. I'm asking you this because normally the English Español el nombre cambia. So I thought that Asylum Place se llamaba de otra forma, but it was like, okay. Sí, <laughs> so así es como la película de Sao. Bueno, so, es como el verbo en pasado, pero en español el juego del miedo. So, I don't, I don't get it. No, it's because in English, uh, ayer veíamos la palabra so, right? Guys, ¿qué era so? What is so? Tierra. Tierra. Ajá, exactly. So, también es el pasado de sí, pero so también es la herramienta. This is the tool, like el serrucho. But so también tiene otro significado. And this is jigsaw, la sierra, ya. Yeah. But eh, la película... Yeah, but the movie la toma no de so, sino de jigsaw, uh, que es el rompecabezas, right? So, oh. like the short way uh, to, to, 
to call it that way. Pero creo que también porque hay cierres. I don't really know. I, I always thought that era por jigsaw, que es rompecabezas. Yeah, it's jigsaw, yeah. Que es uh, por el muñequito también and, y todas las pistas, you know. So I think that would be the one. But anyways, guys, the thing is that the movie is good. <laughs> okay, so Me? it is, yeah. What is the meaning of, no, perdón, what is the pronunciation of G jigsaw? Jigsaw, ah, uh, so. Jigsaw, yeah, so jigsaw, um, so son rompecabezas, right? Or we call them also, probably, han visto esa palabra before, que son puzzles. Mm -hmm. So jigsaws or puzzles, like los, los rompecabezas. So, do you like jigsaws or puzzles? Like, que ponen pedacitos yeah. juntos, that you have to put things, pieces together. Mm -hmm. So we call them jigsaws or puzzles. That is the Thank one. You. All right, you're welcome. Okay, guys, we are going to move on a little bit. Uh, we are finishing unit three today. So I have some questions for you. Uh, and the, they are related to factory. So we can work with manufacture a little bit. Sorry. And uh, I have some questions here, guys, for you. Uh, first, we have, do you think that factories are the same all over the world? What do you think? Would you like to work in a factory? And would you like to visit Willy Wonka's uh, chocolate factory? Have you ever seen the movie? Yes, with the Oompa okay. Loompa. Uh, Willy Wonka's chocolate, chocolate factory? Yes, teacher. But the first one or uh, with Johnny Depp? Uh, I think it's how many movies are there? <laughs> I thought it was only one. No, no, the first one no. is with, with with the other as well. It's the first one, the classic. Oh, okay. Well, it's very other, the, the first one. It's very? Uh, yeah, I saw when I was a child. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, yes, better? Very good, very good. Better yeah. than the second? Uh, it's a little bit no, better teacher. than, than have... the Charlie Wonka. Uh, oh. the, uh, the, the principal actor is Jim Wilder, a famous actor. Oh, Jim, okay. He was oh, he I'm a, a very good he in the Lady in Red movie. In Red. Oh my God, I didn't know there was a movie Lady in Red. Okay. <laughs> Lady in Red, formidable picture. The oh. Movie. Okay, good to know. Uh, to be honest, I didn't know, but in that case, uh, so Johnny Depp's movie, so sería el remake, right? Yeah, exactly. Como la segunda versión, like the remake. Oh, very interesting. So guys, uh, what calls your attention about Willy Wonka's uh, Chocolate Factory first? ¿Quién la ha visto, guys? Who has seen it? Who has seen the movie? I saw teacher. Okay, only Belen, Carlos, uh, who else, guys? Okay, I guess that was Gabby. Anybody else? Who saw Willy Wonka's uh, Chocolate Factory? Hi, Margarita, good evening. Guys, nadie más la ha visto? Nobody else has seen it? Hello. Oh, okay. I saw only the remake. Ah, oh, the second. Oh, okay. The, I, I and, saw the two, two of the oldest in, in remakes. Oh, which is better? Um, I really like the first one. I don't know, it's, it's, it's something different. It's something, I don't know. The, the Johnny Depp is, is good, it's very good. Mm -hmm. And they have the, the factor of fantasy and something this, um, so so nice but the first one is something a little more psychological and oh. they make them more more uh, consejos uh, recommendations advice recommendations for advice oh. in the in the real life the johnny the movie always like a fabula i don't know the the message is not really clear but in the first one they have the comment the uh, the the, the, the form to see the, the real life. 
Yeah, because so, I didn't understand. <laughs> and I'm asking yeah. this question because I need your help, guys. So uh, <laughs> what do you understand from this movie? Um, the, I just know the, that it's a the factory. Uh -huh. the, 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 maybe the difference, obviously the graphics are buried in, in, in the second one, that the first one. Mm. But um, the first one, like the partner says, it's, very explicit about the the moraleja how do you say moraleja the message yeah the you message. Say the message yeah. mm -hmm. so uh, it's it's not about um maybe the la, the movie of from johnny deep was funny and the first one mm -hmm. and they they don't try to do the funny they try to get a message for the people so maybe that's the difference okay uh, the people or the movie was very conscious uh, and it's very clear the point of view of the parents or and the children's and in the second one is they are singing and they are get funny and something like that so it's very different it does the idea that maybe we can lose the point of the movie so definitely I, I need your help guys trying to understand the movie because uh, for me that was funny and that was it. Um, Judy, have you ever seen the movie? Have you ever seen Willy Wonka's uh, Chocolate Factory? Yes, teacher, I saw the second part. Ah, okay, what do you remember about the movie? Is I not much remember. Okay. But but anything? Mm. Somebody said umpa umpa. All right, that is not from this movie. <laughs> yes, teacher. Are is from it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 The umpa loompa are uh, employees. Okay, like a small employees. Yes. Yes. From another country. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like I don't remember much. You know, my memory is terrible, guys. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we got these employees. Uh, what is the movie about? Or what is the message of the movie? Willy Wonka has a lot of problems, teacher, with her father. But it's like a boy that tried to make the make her, his wish come true. Okay. And his wish was about to create um, a factory of chocolate, but Maybe of my point of view is not because he likes. It's because her father uh, was a dentist and mm -hmm. he don't um, had the permission of her father to consume some candies. Mm -hmm. And the first time that he already proved that the chocolate he likes, and that that's all. That uh, that was uh, his dream, and then. Mm. Uh, they try to do something different at this and the final you can understand that Willy Wonka has the very nice uh, tooth dientes uh, teeth yeah teeth even if uh, he eat candies mm -hmm. because her father uh, take about so much about the, 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 the care of the, of the teeth so the, obviously the, the 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 boy the the boy that wants that that uh, reto mm -hmm, the, the challenge yeah i think yeah. it was a competition mm -hmm. yeah, exactly uh help about that because the child uh, wasn't selfish oh. uh, he thinks about her his family because they are was poor so oh. Maybe that then Willy Walker understood about maybe the meaning is not prove something to our parents or to the world. Maybe it's do something better for the people you already know. That's my point of view. Okay. Okay. Sounds quite uh, interesting. And uh, yeah, because for me, the movie was funny and that was it. <laughs> I didn't know that there was a message, but now that Carlos and Angelica mentioned, there is another movie. So probably it is more, um, I don't know, it is clearer, right? What the message was. 
Um, but guys, is the other movie like Fantasy 2? Or is the first movie, I don't know. What kind of genre is that? Fantasy is it, teacher. Is it thriller? Yeah. Is it fantasy? Fantasy. The, the fantasy. first, the first movie too. Yeah. Yes. I'm not the same graphic teacher, but it's the same idea. Yeah. The factory and, and how they do the, the candies, the, sorry, the candies. So it's the same idea, only the point of view is different. Okay. But, um, I'm going to watch it because I didn't know that it was the first movie. Guys, tell me about the, the Oompa Oompas. <laughs> I don't know. The, I don't remember them that much. So you, um, Andrea mentioned that they were from a different country. Uh, and was there any, I don't know, specific about them or any anything, you know, that we should know about these guys? Are they people? It's, it's a false country teacher, <laughs> not a real country. A frozen? No, it's not, it's not a real um, country. Oh, but, but people in the story are real, right? Yeah. I mean, they are people. Yes. Oh, okay. The country of the Oompa Loompas is uh, doesn't real. I has a real yes correct. But but what is I don't know so, something that calls the attention about them because I have heard a lot of memes about the is that umpa or lumpa <laughs> I don't remember Oompa. the movie lumpa 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 yeah and they are from Lumbalandia. Oh okay okay uh, besides the fact that they are super tiny oh. is there anything else. They don't talk in Spanish. Oh, okay. They don't talk. They don't speak Spanish. Don't well, speak English Spanish. in the movie. Uh huh. Anything yeah. else? Umpa, um, umpa, lumpa. Okay. Okay. I just remember in the movie, uh, habían squirrels, right? So habían like um, ardillas and all these things. But oh my God, that was a long time ago. So we're going to work. Well, we are going to talk a little bit about this part. Guys, if you have the opportunity uh, to work in a factory like Willy Wonka's factory, would you like to work there? Would you like to work yes. in a place like that? Yeah. Really? Yes. Like the Oompa Loompa. <laughs> no, really, would you like to work in a factory, in a chocolate factory? Yes. Why? In his factory. Okay, he's really in, in his factory. Why? Because the factory was very funny. But it was dangerous, right? No, teacher. Well, yeah, kind of. But for example, <laughs> I don't know. For example, when you talk about the, the squirrels, uh, the girl... Uh, Push to the squirrels, uh, the, the girl, uh, Ana, ¿cómo, ¿cómo sería? La chica, la niña las enojó y ellas reaccionaron. But it's not dangerous. Are not dangerous. And, and the others, if you think about it, all the childs that have consequence, it's about they was metidos. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Because okay. the, the, the first one, they uh, eat a uh, bubble gum. Mm -hmm. uh, try to prove something uh, and then uh, se convirtió en una in a bowl una, in a bowl, una uva. In a bowl right? I think yeah, it was like, okay, okay. Right. but but, but, uh -huh, but it calls my attention why would you like to work in a in a factory like Willy Wonka's factory so Angelica suggests Valen suggests, Enrique suggests who else guys? King Mas, Rafael? Yes, I like to work. Why? <laughs> I mean, why? If if there if there are accidents, but um, but nobody dies. If it's accident, it's solved. No problem. 
Bueno, oh. Puede sufrir un accidente, pero no pasa nada, no muere, igual de ese estado normal después de que pasa algo. Rafa, güey, un chivazo más da. Wow, ok, but will you work? Uh -huh. Ok, it calls my attention because guys solo lo harían por la comida. Just <laughs> because of the food. No. No, about the experience because okay. the plays are very nice and, and wonderful and it's maybe the fantasy is maybe like Disneyland. Okay, okay, just because because of the experience. Guys and the rest, because of the food or because of the experience? ¿Qué más les gustaría trabajar there? ¿Qué me ofrece? Ya, tell us Enrique. Bueno, es que los Humpa Lumpa no hacían nada además de cantar, entonces. Era, era un buen trabajo. No, no. no. Hacían la vaca. No, no. So, Enrique, no. you want to have the Humpa Lumpa's job. Yeah. Dancing, swing, in the chocolate. Can you, can you, uh, can you sing? <laughs> No. No. <laughs> okay. No, wow. Swing. Teletransport. ¿Cómo se dice teletransport? Teleport. 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 Uh, so, who teleported? It's because yeah. one of the child uh, tele, tele, teleporter uh, through the reality from our de, de la realidad a la televisión. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, well, that, that could definitely work. Okay, but imagine this is not Winky, uh, Willy Wonka's factory, um, but just any other factory. Would you like to have the, uh, that experience as well? Imagine, no. <laughs> okay, so imagine it is, I don't know, a battery company like the picture. Imagine uh, this is like the Chinese factories. Japanese factories where they produce cell phones, uh, where they assemble uh, car parts. Would you like to work in a factory that way? Yeah, in cars. In cars. I like, yes, to work. In, in, in cars. In a, in, so in a car factory, in a manufacturer. Uh, in a Ferrari. Oh, Ferrari. Oh, in a computer factory. Okay, okay. Ferrari, but haciendo lo mismo, guys, doing the same thing, probably. In my case, maybe I would like to work in a makeup factory because I would like to know uh, where they get the products. I'm sorry, or, in, a, in a, what was that? Makeup. Makeup. Oh, factory. in a, okay, in a cosmetic factory, but so makeup only, factory. Only because I want to know where they get the products or where um what is the base and on and que están hechos maiden maiden mm, okay so what are like the ingredients yes but rafael <laughs> well miss the, the, ingre the ingredients uh -huh. the problem. Maybe, maybe for the animal test, horse? if they don't have animal tests, maybe only for <laughs> no that. Yes. Well, Miss, yo he escuchado que algunos vienen de, de excremento de animales, right? Yes. <laughs> I don't know if that is the reality. Uh, I, reality. Have, I have never worked in a, in a cosmetic company, pero sí he escuchado que los ingredientes come sometimes from bats. And from insects. I don't know, guys. Alguien sabe? Do you know? No. I don't know about the about maybe, the, maybe, the that specific. Maybe we can investigate a little. <laughs> but they okay. only have have a uh, animal testing, so that I is mean, very cruel. Yeah, they test, but but the thing is the ingredients, you know, where they definitely come from. Okay, guys, uh, nice. Thank you so much. And that uh, we do have one exercise. Give me one second. This is just for this presentation. So hold on. And uh, okay. Uh, just for day, guys, hablamos un poquito de producción. We were talking just a little bit of manufacturing. 
give me just a second and let me present the material over to you so we can go on and finish this one. So some of you would like to work in a, in a car factory, in a cosmetic factory, um, Ferrari factory, fact, uh, Rafael said in a computer factory. Okay, sounds good. So guys, we are going to go over today a little bit of this factory process, let's call it that way. And this is related to uh, assembling things. So yesterday we checked sewing and assemble. So that is putting things in order. Uh, guys, to move on, I have this exercise. This is in your material. Uh, this is page, give me one second. Uh, this is page 31. And here we have exercise number five. It says, number the drawings in the correct order to assemble all the parts of a bicycle. So what do you think is step one, step two, and so forth? So we have pedals, frame, handlebars, uh, shipping, saddle, and wheels. What is the step number one? What do you think? If you need to put a bicycle together, guys, have you ever uh, ridden a bicycle? Yes. 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 Yeah, okay. So you are super familiar with the parts of a bicycle, but what do you think is the first one? At the moment frame. of putting it together. Frame. 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 Okay, so frame. first, frame. What would be the second? Saddle. Saddle. This one, the saddle. Yeah. Okay. So frame, saddle. What is Pedals. next? Handlebar. Pedals, Pedals or handlebar? What do you think? Pedals. Or wheels? I think wheels. No, pedals. Okay, guys, I'll give you one minute so you can try to figure it out. Uh, so remember, cuando se les ha arruinado, guys. So when your bicycle uh, has gotten broken. ¿Qué hacen primero? What are like the steps to put it back? Again, right? I'll give you one minute. So remember that these are the pedals. Um, the handlebar is this thingy, right? Like handle. Saddle is this one, like the seat, the saddle. And we have the wheels. So one minute, guys. What is one, two, three, four, five, and six? time. I'm ready. 
Okay, you're ready, nice. So what would be a step number one in a bicycle assembly? Obviously first is the unboxing, right? <laughs> so we have to put it out. So it is not here, but the first one would be unboxing. Give me just a sec. So unboxing, right? Uh, that is like sacarlo de la caja and everything. So besides unboxing, what would be the next step? So guys, number one would be unboxing. Frame. Okay, so we have frame after framing or after the frame. Wheels. Okay, wheels. wheels. All right. Pedals. Handlebars. Pedals. Oh, Pedals. okay. After that, saddle and handlebars. Okay, so saddle and handlebars. All right. And then, shipping. Shipping. Okay. There we go. Oh, very interesting. Probably everybody has a different point or different order, right? To assemble things, let's say. Uh, but normally uh, we do have the frame. Uh, we have the saddle. Normally with the frame, viene el handlebar. So not always, pero ya viene como amarrado, right? It is attached. So we have frame and saddle. Uh, also, you try the handlebar, so frame, handlebar, saddle. Then, de las partes finales, that would be wheels, pedals, que es de lo último that we normally do, and then shipping, right? That is the last step. So, probably, ya sea que se envíe, that would be shipping first, uh, shipping last, right? Para poderlo enviar a un lugar. Okay. So, guys, and that would be just the assembling process of a bicycle. Now guys, quick question. ¿Alguna vez han armado algo? Have you ever assembled anything? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Con todos los tornillos? Yes. <laughs> With all the screws? No, no los screws. Siempre sobran, siempre sobran. <laughs> My brother oh. says that is la ganancia. <laughs> okay. No, but no, definitely no. not. ¿Qué le ahorraría a la fábrica? <laughs> Me ponen tornillos de más, digo. <laughs> okay, no, that's bad. Okay, no, you know, the, the thing is Eso that... Eso es porque más de algunos se cae y se pierde. Rebota oh. el suelo y se pierden debajo de los sillones. <laughs> okay. I'm going to tell you my story. Uh, I had a really, really hard time assembling a computer. So... Um, um, this computer, guys, alguna vez han visto la HP, this is HP, uh, Curve, have you ever seen the Curve TV? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, no recuerdo de cuántos pulgadas era, 40 something, 42, 43, I'm not sure. The thing is that uh, my company gave me the Curve TV, you know, so... Oh, guys, ¿alguna vez han armado una? Have you ever assembled a curved TV? No. No, only TV, normal. Oh, like smart an, TV, oh, it's one TV. This is horrible, guys. Uh, so this was a really bad experience for me because the, the TV, well, not the TV, the computer in this case, um, the computer is curved, it's big, it's heavy, and it has a, like a handle, like a, like a steel handle. So in the back of the computer, you have to attach the handle. Oh, that was horrible. And I was, uh, I did the unboxing alone. 
and I couldn't, you know, assemble it alone. So at the end, I was like, brother, help me, sister, help me. And everybody helped me because that was really bad. So guys, can you teach us how to assemble something? Um, anything. Nos pueden ayudar a armar algo? Can you help us or explain to us the process on how to assemble any anything? What can you assemble, guys? Algo que hayan armado pero completo, you know? <laughs> no extra screws, no extra parts. Maybe just a tape or picture. Oh, okay, okay, but that will work. So assembling a table. Oh, a, a, and a stand the teacher for the bathroom. Oh, okay, a shelf. I assemble that. Mm -hmm. Shelves, what else can we assemble? I assembling a closet, a little closet. <laughs> okay, a closet, but still, you know, si lo arma mal, le quedan piezas. <laughs> so yes. you get extra pieces. I, I think because of that, only um, duro or oh, <laughs> no. Last, 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 land, land. Why? No, I, not, I don't remember. <laughs> like one day? <laughs> no, uh, maybe a year. <laughs> Oh, a year. Okay. <laughs> Con solo que no le haya quedado la patita floja, Miss, I think you're good. <laughs> the, the door. It was, <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice flojo? Loose. It was, it was not tightened, probably, or it was loose. And loose. Yeah, estaban desniveladas. Oh, okay. <laughs> Unbalanced. <laughs> Okay, yes, exactly. Unbalanced. So unbalanced. That is the point, right? That we don't assemble something. So nos va a quedar piezas. We're gonna get some extra pieces. So would you mention a shelf? Uh, probably a closet. Uh, what else, guys? Creo que Rafael, you can assemble computers, right? Yes. What else can you assemble, Rafael? Sorry. What else? ¿Qué más? What else can you assemble? Uh, computer, desk, uh, desktop. Oh, okay, yeah, desktop. desktop. Okay. What? What? Watches? What? Watch? No, rack. Okay. Oh, rack. Um, this one. Rack. Yes. Oh, okay, racks. Okay. Nice. Con todas las piezas o extra pistas. <laughs> I don't know, guys. So, Rafael said that puede ahorrarle a la empresa, you know. <laughs> so careful there. Okay, guys, I'll give you five minutes, okay? And I want you to select a product, algo que hayan armado alguna vez on your own, right? It can be something super simple, like a shelf or something electronic, too. Uh, sometimes uh, we buy different products y debemos de armarlo. We have to put it together. Like, for example, I have a, a ring here. So, tengo a light ring, right? But no venía armado. So, I need to uh, assemble it every time. So, guys, I'm going to give you three, four minutes. Uh, only write the steps, please. And si no están seguros de cuál es el proceso, you can also uh, check on internet. Uh, so how to assemble this, you know, to get some ideas. Guys, I'll give you four or five minutes and then you explain the process to us. Um, so what is first, what is second, what is third, etc. So obviously you, you will need to know the names of the different parts very similar to bicycle, for example. So you have pedals, frame, handlebars, shipping, saddle, wheels. Si alguien puede armar partes del carro, again, we need to know the specific names of the parts of the car. Uh, like, I don't know, have you ever assembled anything in a car? ¿Alguna vez han armado alguna pieza del carro or anything in a car? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, what have you assembled in a car? 
El freno trasero. But like a sambol, uh, yeah. la, el tambor, right? Yes. Oh, okay. The brake discs. The back brakes? The brake, the brake. That, yeah, that would be, uh-huh. Wow. Really? How do you assemble yeah. it? Okay, and the motocicleta, I think it's very common that aprenda, you know, algunos, algunas cosas, right? Como how to, how to assemble the, I don't know, like handlebar into the motorcycle, um, how to assemble, ¿qué más? what did I see? Uh, my brother used to assemble a lot of things, but I cannot remember. So, yeah, let's try to let's try to write a process, guys. So, si deciden hacerlo con los breaks, but no tienen que explicar parte por parte. <laughs> so you need to explain to us like the the, the vocabulary, all, of course, and the process. So, what is the step one? What's the step two? And so forth. Guys, tenemos hasta las ideas. So four minutes. To think about it. Mm, okay. So It looks like, si es el freno trasero, the name would be brake drum. So that would be brake drum. Que hay algunos carros que tienen freno de eso de tambor y otros que tienen freno de disco también atrás. That's a very good point. So si es el de tambor o el redondito, yeah. that would be a drum. Si no, sería un disc. Mm -hmm. Guys, who is familiar with cars? Only with a few things, teacher. Not mm -hmm. with everything. So, ¿cuál es el zapato? Do you know what the shoe is? Zapata, teacher. Es zapata. 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 Yeah. Es que son los, los frenos que trae los, los discos de tambor Friction. por dentro. Es para sí. el freno de mano. Hace la fricción con el tambor para que se detenga el vehículo. Para que pero ese frene, es para el freno, el freno de, de mano. mano. Uh -huh. But no es para el, el... Ok, got it. Oh, es, es, es que I'm checking a car here, but... Ambos Ajá, el freno de mano, ticha. El que está, bueno, la par suya es ese, lo, eh, cuando traían, tienen eh, zapatas, eh, frena con la parte de atrás. Y yeah. eso es lo que básicamente es el freno, pues, hace la, la compresión. Sí, es que este, este carro tiene dos frenos de tambor. So, I'm not like getting it. It's super weird. Okay. ¿Qué carro está viendo, Tiche? I don't know. It's, I'm just checking like a car here, but the rambos son de tambor, super weird. Okay. Because uh, I've forgotten, uh, I've forgotten the name. Uh, normally, el freno. Um, well, no sé si en carros funciona igual, but in a motorcycle, for example. Uh, so, parte del freno delantero, uh, that is the most common, se le retira y se limpia, but no recuerdo el nombre de la parte que se limpia. So, I don't remember if it's a plate. The disc or oh, plate. Oh, that's a plate then, a disc. Sí, sí. Es que es el, el disco, o sea, lo, 
la parte esa la que se limpia. Oh, okay. Thank you for that. Yeah, because I found it as a plate, but I was not sure. All right. Thank you for the confirmation. Guys, ya lo tiene listo. Do you have it ready? Ya seleccionaron que van a armar what you're going to assemble. Or do you need more time? Miss, how do you say eh, una herramienta que, que nosotros le llamamos cangreja? Cangreja. Oh, that's a... Uh, wait, give me a second because I don't normally use them, so I forget the names. But... Give me one sec. Just a moment. Give me a second, guys. Guys, les compartí un libro, uh, un diccionario. No, teacher. No. Oh, yes, no. teacher. No, no les compartí no. Un, un diccionario visual. No. You, no. You only told us about some, uh, one dictionary. You, you, you give it to us. You gave us the name of one, but I don't remember, teacher. Okay, probably not then. Uh, let, me, let me check if I still have it. Because hay un diccionario que es ilustrado, you know. So vienen herramientas, you got a lot of things, but no sabía si, if I had shared that with you. Give me just a second. Um, so, so guys, let's go and get a picture. I'm just going to send you a picture over to the group para que tengan también a couple of uh, extra vocabulary on some tools. Give me one sec. And uh, there you have like kind of the most common uh, tools you can use. Um, and the one that Andrea was asking for, that is the wrench. Uh, did you see the, the, the object, Andrea? Yes, miss. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, guys, I'll give you one more minute. Thank you. 
Um, okay, guys. So listen up. Let's voy a compartir. I'm going to be sharing uh, a dictionary in the group. Es uno de los mejores I have seen, but no es un diccionario as such, you know. Uh, but, sino que es ilustrado. It's super, super cool. Uh, es un poquito pesado, so probably, um, si no tiene mucho espacio, it is going to take a lot. But, eh, lo bonito from this dictionary is that, um, for example, si necesitan herramientas, if you need some specific tools, se pueden ir and you can see like the picture. Give me one second, let me show you. And uh, next to the picture, uh, tienen el nombre, so you have the name of each of the parts, you know. So it is like, no, you will not be able to see this. But eh, tienen como las, las partes indicadas, you know, con el nombre. And uh, funciona mucho más, eh, es mucho más fácil, you know, para memorizarse uh, expresiones, vocabulario, partes, you know. Hay enfermedades, partes de la casa, verbos, adjetivos. So it's super, super complete. Sí es un poquito pesado, you know, but it's super nice. So espero que les ayude, guys. Uh, lo pueden imprimir, you know, or si les interesa comprarlo, también you can buy it. Solo que creo que es un poquito caro. I think it's quite expensive these days. But, but it's super, super cool. So, por ahí se los dejo. ¿Cuál se le va a imprimir los teacher? Um, oh, I'm not sure. Okay, ya se fue. So, um, but you know, um, es que no es lo mismo because esto está full color. Y tener el libro full color is super cool, you know. But guys, si lo quieren imprimir algunas páginas en específico, or you want to have it there, so, se lo super recomiendo. Es uno de los mejores I have seen. Solo es que busquen la pronunciación de las palabras. Eh, but como eh, algo visual is amazing, because tienen el dibujo, tienen el nombre, you know. And it's really, really cool. So... I hope you find it useful. Okay, guys, vamos a hablar un poquito de assembling things. Um, I'm going to ask you to join the groups, guys, for some minutes so you can share what you have, how to assemble the products. And then, guys, vamos a compartir lo que el compañero nos diga. So please pay close attention. Pónganle mucha atención a los compañeros. Pay attention to the things they have assembled, uh, to the explanation they will give. And then, nos van a contar de cómo um, assemble different products, pero no les ustedes, but another classmates. So, give me just a moment. I'm sending you there. Si encuentro un nuevo vocabulario, don't forget to write it down to make it your own, and then we practice. So, guys, go ahead, please. Tenemos only five minutes to do that. So, let's work it out.
I am not sure. I am not sure right now because I think maybe I can't explain. <laughs> it's, a, it's a product a little complicated, right? Yes, it's complicated because there are many pieces of I don't know how. how <laughs> what name? Yeah, the maybe. Stuff, the stuff they may is the the pieces are all uh, pequeños, I don't know how to say. Mm -hmm. They are small, mm -hmm. the, the part are small and and I think they, uh, the, pro, the stops are a little complicated because you have to think about the connection of gas or something like that. Yes, yes. Uh... All the oven, it was uh, packing in a pallet, mm -hmm. but uh, because the oven, it was uh, so heavy, the first step that you had to do it is um, assembling um, como una polea, un sistema de poleas um, para, uh, to, to pick up the, the oven. Um, because the, the first, uh, the oven, it was, um, the oven had three levels. So you have to put uh, the three ovens, uh, each, um, cada uno encima de otro, <laughs> because it was three ovens. Okay. So there, there was, sorry, there was three ovens. Uh, so the first step it was uh, assembling la polea, pero no sé cómo decir. Uh, and after that, you have to assemble in the base. You have to put the wheels in the base, and after that, uh, you have to put all each oven. Above, and see my have over. Above, yes. Above, yes. Above the the other oven. <laughs> mm -hmm. And and the last step when you have the three ovens in in a pipe, uh, you have to put the cover uh, that is. A, ¿Quién falta? Solo yo. Uh -huh. Vaya. Eh, change the spark plug. First, I put off the nut with the branch from both sides. Eh, then I remove the trunk. Later, I remove the screw with a screwdriver. Then I remove the case of tape the case, then take out the spark plug and fit the new spark plug. Eh, bujía, para cambiarle la bujía a la, a la moto. Ok. Lo bueno es que hemos, hemos hecho algo, aunque sea con instrucciones. Cabal. Wow, that sounds really good. Now, guys, the activity is explicar el proceso de alguien más. <laughs> so, now try to remember que fue lo que los compañeros dijeron, so what your classmates said, um, so you can try to explain the process, but that sounds really nice. Uh, you have like just one more minute, probably. Rafa, Carlos, alguien, hello, hi teacher, 
Hi guys, how you doing? Uh, so, so teacher. <laughs> Are you almost finished? Kind of. Okay. Cool in that case. <laughs> okay, remember guys, uh, that the activity is explicar el proceso de alguien más, right? So based on what your classmate said, vamos a intentar uh, like explain esos procesos, what they said. Um, para que Perdón, practiquemos. Vas a traer agua. Hi, <laughs> no worries, you're fine. So, um, si ya practicamos un poquito, so if you practiced already, vamos a intentar describir parte de los procesos que los compañeros dijeron. So, what they already mentioned, right? Um, so, no vamos a describir como sus procesos, sino el proceso de alguien más. Somebody else's process. We have just a couple of minutes, guys, in case you want to uh, double check, I'll go con los compañeros, I'll go ahead.
All right, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for coming back. So we were talking about assembling. Uh, so let's go ahead and check part of this exercise. Um, I hope, guys, everybody had the opportunity to listen to each other um, and to learn a little bit about the process. So alguien me quiere contar, guys. Do, do, do I have any volunteer? Does anybody want to tell us about um, the process your classmate told you about? De que les hablaron, guys? Which are some of the processes you heard? Oh, Helen, what did your group assemble? Okay, teacher. Um, so it, it's of all the box. Mm -hmm. oh, what, is, what is the product? I'm sorry. Um, fun. I'm sorry, what was that? A sandbox. Fan, ventilador, no sé si así se dice. Oh, a fan, yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry, I heard um, okay. a sandbox. Mm -hmm. Join peace by, uh, by peace, the fan. Okay. And, and play the foundation, then the ladies, no sé si así se dice. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Finally, finally the, the cover, the cover or the lid? Mm -hmm. Okay, only teacher no sabía qué decir mal. No, but that is okay. That, that sounds actually very nice. Um, okay. So assemble it first, uh, the blades, then put the cover or put the lid. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, right. Because normally just an armados, I think, a menos que sea super grande, right? Mm -hmm. Or like the los que están de techo, like the permanent or the roof uh, fans. Okay, thank you, Helen. That sounds good. Can you select another person? Select a victim, Helen. <laughs> da -da -da -da. <laughs> Francisco. Okay. Thank you. All right, Francisco. So what do you Thank remember you, your <laughs> classmates? <laughs> Explain how to assemble. Okay. Um, in my class, um, um, uh, the Christmas tree. Ah, okay. Nice, nice. What are the steps? Um, the step, um, the first, Inboxing the Christmas Christmas tree. Um, there, um, uh, stretch stretch the um, the branches. Okay. Stretch, stretch the branches. Um, later later put the put the balls, star, snow. Um, later. Um, tour of the light. Okay. Um, I've been. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> okay. But Francisco, que practico su árbol. I mean, <laughs> solo lo va a abrir and that's it. <laughs> wow. That sounds like a very practical Christmas tree. Because um, I don't I don't normally have a Christmas tree. My sister does, but el de ella se debe ir armando pedacito a pedacito, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so yours is very practical. Sounds good. All right. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, right. Sounds not that difficult. Francisco, select a victim, please. Okay. Um Tell me. Okay, nice. Tell me, tell us about one object your classmates uh, told you about. Yes. Um, how how the how the bulla kitchen in my house? A kitchen. Yes. Set the burners. 
pick the gas stop now, up the gas house, and play the spark cap system. Okay. Okay, very interesting. ¿Qué tipo de cocina es, Miss? <laughs> what kind of stuff is it? The gas. Like a normal gas yes. stove? Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was like, wait. <laughs> Suena que va a ser eléctrica. It sounds, this is going to be like an electric uh, stove. Okay, it sounds all right. Uh, so, uh, solo a little change here. Normally, kitchen es como el, la habitación, el espacio, right? Eh, y ya que es la cocina con los quemadores, because you mentioned burner, mm -hmm. le vamos a cambiar a stove. So, stove es como el aparatito que usamos para cocinar y el lugar donde cocinamos eh, le llamamos kitchen. So, just a little change there. But that was a nice one. That sounds actually very good. Okay, guys, uh, listen up. Well, first, gracias a todos por enviar, quienes me han enviado el audio con parte de la pronunciación que vimos el día de ayer. Todavía me faltan algunos, guys. Así que, please, don't forget to send them. En caso se les haya olvidado, solamente era a pronunciation exercise. And, uh, deme un segundo. We are going to go over eh, un par de palabritas here so we can eh, check them super quick. Deme un segundo. Um, in case you have already forgotten, uh, so parte de las que revisamos el día de ayer are the, um, this ones. Give me a sec. Oh, I lost them. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me just look for them super quick. Okay, guys, it looks like um, I don't have it. I don't have them in this PowerPoint, pero recuerdo que el día de ayer eh, alguien amablemente nos compartió la picture. So, la tarea, guys, es solamente, thank you, Angelica. So, it is Angelica's, eh, solamente es pronunciation, right? Entre los dos que tenemos ahí. So, you have it right there. I'm just going to resend it eh, so you can keep it there. Uh, la, eh, el, la tarea, guys, es precisamente esto. Ayer veíamos algunos sonidos que se parecen bastante, como en el caso de y corta y larga. So, solamente es un audio con alguno de ellos. Um, and uh, before the guys uh, leaving today, vamos a revisar eh, un poquito más de pronunciation. Um, so we can go over the second part here. Give me a moment. There you go. Okay, guys. So, tenemos la siguiente parte que también son pronunciation. Solamente les voy a pedir, um, like, you gotta be a little careful eh, con algunos sonidos, right? Ayer veíamos los sonidos y largo y corto. En esas son algunas de las palabras que normalmente eh, tendemos a repetir o a decir incorrectamente o que se nos olvida. Um, a little reminder. Tenemos la I super corta que es E. Y la I larga que es I, la puedo alargar y no hay ningún problema. So, uh, for example, tenemos este sonido y tenemos este segundo sonido. So, esta es una I, pero súper corta, it. Y esta es una I, pero es una larga, eat. I want to eat some ice cream. Oh, it is Friday. It is. Casi no se oye o se puede escuchar como una E, pero no es E. Es una I, pero cortita, right? So, um... In the homework uh, or the, in la lista que les acabo de reenviar, la tienen exactamente en orden. Las primeras todas tienen un sonido de I cortito, right? Uh, for example, you have this one. Y la segunda que les aparece ahí tiene un sonido de la I larga. So you have it, eat, uh, feel, feel. Es la mismo, pero un poco más largo, right? You have is, like it is, is, and you have this one, que es un poco más largo, that is easy, 
o it is so easy. Yo puedo hacer mucho más largo el i y no hay ningún problema. So, en cambio, este no se puede alargar. It is. It is. Es bien corto y este es bien largo. So, easy. Right? Um, solamente to give you um, a little reminder de qué se trata la tarea, guys. No les va a tomar más de 30 segundos enviar su audio, right? Um, and uh, send it to my WhatsApp, send it to the group, si se sienten más cómodos. Guys, eh, solamente vamos a, a practicar esta parte de pronunciation que tenemos acá en el chart, um, so we can finish today's uh, class. So, si pueden abrir el micrófono, guys, that would be amazing. Um, and repitamos these words. We have alive. 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 Ok, recordemos que esta es una V, so alive. Right? Alive. 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 It's alive. So hay como una vibración. Alive. 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 Next one. No. 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 La K al inicio nunca se pronuncia. Lead. 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 Think. 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 Una vez más. Think. 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 Again, think. 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 Un poco más suave al inicio. Think. 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 Ok, Enrique. Think. Ok, Rafael. Think. Ok, Judy. Think. Ok, perfect. Sounds really good. Next one, guys. See. See. Como sí, right? Sí, yes, ok. Sí, sí. ajá, exactly, sí, ok. Bat. 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 Like when you say Batman, so bat. 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 Ok, funciona bastante con algunos sonidos que sonrían, guys. So, smile, porque los músculos, la A, exactamente, ese sonido de la A es bien abierta. Entonces es más fácil cuando sonreímos y no forzamos el sonido. So, bat. Bad, bad. bad. Sonrían y va a ser que es más fácil. It's a lot easier. Arrive. 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 Red. 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 First. First. Think. 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 Oh, let's take a look one more time. Think. 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 El sonido se les queda en la garganta. Ok. Uh -huh. uh, I think. I think, I, I, think. I think. Oh, that thing. That, that, that thing. 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 Pero el final, quitémosle la K. Es como un K. <laughs> ok, so, <laughs> think. Uh, so, el sonido queda. Uh, so, think. ok. Yeah, so, el sonido no termina en K. For example, eh, pass me. Uh, pass. Ask me uh, that thing, please. All right. So, guys, let's go over this one. Uh, is this think? Pero es this thing. All right. So, uh, can you repeat this one? Can you say this one? So, um, let me go here. Margarita, please. Can you go for this one? Solamente lealo. Just read it, please. Pass, pass me. A pink, please. Okay, vamos con esto. That. That. <laughs> that thing. Pink. Okay, one more time. Pass me that thing, please. Pass me that thing, please. Okay, very good. There you go. Helen, please. Pass me that thing, please. Oh, very good. Sounds really nice. Okay. Um, so, Belen, please. Let's go with this one. Eh, la que ha seleccionado, teacher. Yes, solo leala. Just read it, please. Okay. Pass me that thing, please. Sounds all right. Okay, guys. Let's continue here. So, we have bad. 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 Okay, so, es bastante abierta. So bad. Oh, that's so bad. 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 So again, bad. So Porque bad. recordemos que un sonidito hace una gran diferencia. Next one. Ship. Ship. Okay. Ship. 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 
Okay. Thin. 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 One more time. Vamos otra vez. Think. 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 Thin. 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 Exactly. Eso eh, termina como. Okay. So, <laughs> think. Think. Thin. 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 But remember, eh, siempre va una set al inicio. So, thin. Thin. Perfect. There you go. Have. Have. Sit. Sit. Es como un, una E, pero es una I corta. Es so súper corta. Sit. Yes. Casi suena yes. como, uh, como E, right? Rev. Rev. Hat. 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 Fifty. Fifty. Bed. Bed. Seat. Seat. Oh, let's take a look. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta, guys? How do you pronounce this one? Bad. Bad. This one? Bad. Bad. And this one? Bed. Bed. Very good. This one? Seat. Seat. And this one? Seat. Seat. Very good. It's much más larga. Exactly. That's a lot longer. So this is the exercise from today. Next one. Sing. 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 Oh, look at the difference. Sing. 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 Ese primer sonido es la diferencia. So if you can say sing or you can say sing, right? Next one. Run. 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 No W, solo run. 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 Fast. 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 She. 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 Más suave. She. 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 Okay, and this one? She. she. And this? She. 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 And this? She. 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 Very good. That's the one. So she is this one, mucho más larga, right? And the other one is más corta. She. Okay, guys. Very good. So vamos a practicar esta. We're going to... Oh, sheep. So sheep. Sheep. Es más corta, pero es el mismo sonido. Sheep. Sheep de... De barato. Sheep, ajá. Oh, similar. el sonido es diferente. Yeah, it's similar, but different. <laughs> so, because este sonido es como shh. Pero esto de barato es... Es más fuerte. Como cuando usted dice, guys, eh, digan eso en español. Chino. Chino. Ok. Chino. Ok, tenemos Chino. dos sonidos. Y si van a callar a alguien, ¿cómo callan normalmente a alguien? Shh. Es como shh. Ok, no, no, no. esos son los dos sonidos. No decimos chino, right? No decimos asha. But we normally call it. Chino. Entonces, ese es el sonido de chip. So, chip, ship. Sí. Mucho más largo. So, un sonido súper, súper pequeñito hace la gran diferencia. Vamos a seguir practicándolos eh, el día de mañana ahí en contexto, guys, but I just wanna eh, to bring this up to you. No se les olvide, please, enviarme el audio. 30 segunditos, no les va a tomar más tiempo. And you can practice them too. Guys, antes de irse, solo me regalan eh, un momentito. No entendí si sí, esta que estamos practicando ahorita es otro audio, aparte del de ayer. O el de ayer. Sí, pero este todavía no, Miss. This one no. Vamos a enviar ah, solo okay. el que está en el grupo de WhatsApp, el de las okay. letras en, en naranja. Uh -huh. Gracias. Porque este lo vamos a, a seguir practicando tomorrow, porque uh, nos faltan un par de palabras más. Uh -huh. All right, guys. Solo si me ayudan con su camarita un momento, me regalan confirmación verbal, please, to um, get your attendance. So I got Andrea. Present. Thank you so much. Belen. Present, teacher. Gracias. Uh, Carlos. Carlos is here. Delmi. Present. Thank you. Enrique. I'm here. Francisco. Present teacher. Helen. Present teacher. Imelda. Present. Iris. Present. Thank you, Arnoldo. Arnoldo was here. Uh, Richard is not. Kenya. 
Angelica. Present. Thank you, Gaby. Present. Gracias, Miss Rafael. Present. Eh, Margarita. Present, teacher. Rubén. Present, teacher. Judy. Present, teacher. And there we go. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for that. So, gracias por la asistencia. Nos vemos el día de mañana. Guys, tengo un espacio de one-on-one -on -one ahora. Si alguien se quiere quedar y quiere revisar alguno de los temas, so we are happy to. Francisco, eh, si tiene un par de minutitos para que revisemos las preguntas indirectas, that would be amazing. Sí, está bien. Okay, perfect. See you guys. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye. See you, see you. Sorry, teacher. I have been attending my father. It's some pain in the back. Oh, no worries, Carlos. It's, it's fine. Putting an injection and making some massages in the, in the oh. back. It's no worries. Nice. You I know. totally understand. It's difficult yeah. to take care of other person. But thank you so much for being here. I hope your father feels better. Oh, but it's nice that you can take care of him. Thank you so much for that. I hope to see you tomorrow. Hopefully you can good join night. us. Have Thanks. a good night. Bye-bye. Already. Ok, Francisco, sí. so, eh, si gusta, eh, revisemos las, eh, las preguntas indirectas. No sé si tuvo la oportunidad de practicar un poquito este tema o eh, si todavía se le complica. Uh, or, ¿Cómo se siente con el tema? Las eh, preguntas indirectas, ¿cómo? Ok, eh, eh, parte de esta unidad hemos estado revisando las preguntas, les llamamos preguntas indirectas o preguntas embedded, porque uh, indirect questions, porque son preguntas como bien polite. Eh, lo hemos formales. estado practicando, son, no, son preguntas formales, pero son de forma indirecta. Ahorita lo vamos a ver. Creo que no, no estuvo en esta clase, entonces por eso, yo no, know, para que lo revisemos. Bueno. Sí, gracias. Lo, normalmente las preguntas indirectas son bastante fáciles, pero llevan un, compo un componente adicional. Y es que le agregamos un par de expresiones como I wonder, I was wondering, I would like to know, eh, I would like to know, uh, can you tell me? Entonces lo que hacemos es combinar dos preguntas. Eh, mm -hmm. Pero lo quiero hacer de forma mucho más... Eh, polite, mucho más cortés, mucho menos directa, para que no suene grosero, rude, etc. Por ejemplo, eh, veíamos, o les preguntábamos a los compañeros algunas preguntas un poco incómodas, como how old are you? Si yo vengo y le pregunto, hey Francisco, ¿cuántos años tienes? So, how old are you? Algunas personas se sienten bien diciendo esto, otras no. Entonces, ¿cómo puedo combinar estas expresiones de arriba? con esta pregunta de abajo. Una pregunta indirecta es la combinación de estos dos elementos. Y lo que hace es lo que decimos en español. Francisco, ¿me podría decir cuántos años tiene? Ya no es lo mismo que Francisco, ¿cuántos años tiene? Ajá. <ríe> Entonces, esa es una pregunta indirecta, ¿verdad? Right? O me preguntaba, ¿cuánto gana usted? Entonces, son preguntas un poco... Eh, What? incómodas quizás, bastante personales, que no cualquier persona le va a responder, ¿verdad? Right? Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, lo que hacemos, o simplemente usted va con su jefe y le quiere pedir un aumento de salario, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. right? Ajá, no le va a preguntar a, a su jefe, mire jefe, ¿y para cuándo me aumento? <risa> right? uh -huh. Sino que venimos y le preguntamos como jefe, me preguntaba si tiene alguna noticia de mi aumento. So, hay dos tipos de preguntas en inglés. Las preguntas que llevan WH word y las preguntas que son de sí y no. Vamos primero a ver las preguntas de sí y no porque pueden ser un poco más complicadas. Ayúdame con preguntas con do you. ¿Algo que se le ocurra? Eh, Cualquier cosa, eh, anything. Eh, do you have brothers? Oh, ok. Yeah, that's ok. Do you have brothers? You have brothers. Okay, that's all right. 
Entonces, eh, tengo esa pregunta, do you have brothers? Y quiero hacerla más útil. Vamos a utilizar la primera que es, I wonder. Como I esta pregunta es, pero puedo usar cualquiera, pero ahorita para practicar vamos a usar I wonder. Uh -huh. En una pregunta de ese tipo, el do no lo necesito. Entonces se lo voy a quitar porque ya lo okay. voy a combinar con este otro elemento, right? Voy a copiar okay. acá, I wonder. I wonder. Imagínese que pregunto, I wonder do you have bro eh, any brothers? Suena bastante raro. Por eso es que el do ya no me sirve acá, se lo quito. Pero okay. como es una pregunta de sí y no a ese tipo de preguntas, yo les voy a agregar if para poder unirlas. El so, if ya sería como preguntando. Eh, sí, el, este if es como en español. Yo me pregunto si usted tiene mm. hermanos. Yo me pregunto si usted está soltero. Yo me pregunto si usted mm. tiene hijos. Entonces el if es como la forma como unimos estas expresiones con las preguntas. Estas son las preguntas de sí y no. Right? Eh, so... Por ejemplo, eh, díganme otra pregunta. Puede ser con el verbo to be, no hay problema. O con does, o con did. Uh, Francisco. Ay, se puso en, 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 en mute. Eh. <risa> Me imaginé. <risa> yeah. <risa> eh. Did. No, teacher, no se me ocurre. Yeah, it's okay, right. it's okay. Bueno, preguntemos, are you tall, por ejemplo? Si usted es alto, right? Ajá. Bueno, tengo esta, are you tall? Todo, todas estas son preguntas de sí, no, entonces no hay problema. Vamos a usar la segunda para que usted vea que el uso es exactamente el mismo. I was wondering. Yo me estoy preguntando, yo me uh -huh. estaba preguntando. Pero, again, es una pregunta de sí y no. Entonces, ¿qué le voy a agregar? Para poder if. unirla, yo siempre le agrego if. I was wondering if. Pero, si usted se fija, esto uh -huh. sigue siendo una pregunta. I was wondering if are you tall. Suena bien raro. So, como ya tengo, la primera ya tengo acá el primer elemento, uh -huh. El segundo, ya no necesito que sea pregunta. Ya puede ser una oración normal. ¿Ya? Entonces, esto de acá, lo que voy a hacer es cambiar el orden otra vez. Sujeto, verbo, complemento, para que ya suene bien. Y esto no necesita signo de interrogación, porque la uh -huh. primera parte no suena como pregunta. Entonces, eso, por eso es que se llaman preguntas indirectas. Indirectas. Uh -huh, o preguntas unidas en better questions, porque son, son como, usted sigue preguntando acá, uh -huh. pero ya no parece pregunta, ya no es algo bien directo. I was wondering if you're tall. Hey, Francisco, I, uh, I was wondering if you are tall. Parece que no es una pregunta. Pero yo sí le estoy preguntando si es alto. Yo me preguntaba si usted es alto. Y bien usted me puede decir, ah, yes, I am very tall, or no, not much. Pero también en vez de I was wondering, yo le puedo cambiar y yo le puedo decir, uh, can you tell me? Hey, Francisco, can you tell me? Si se fija, cambié la expresión, pero lo demás no me va a cambiar. Uh, lo único que ahora sí necesito uh -huh. es una interrogación porque esto sí es forma de pregunta. So, Francisco, can you tell me decir? if you are tall? Uh -huh, me puedes decir, exacto. Uh -huh. Me puedes contar, me puedes decir. So, estos son las yes, preguntas. Ah, exactly, exactly. De una forma bien polite, bien cortés, bien indirecta directamente. Le estoy preguntando si es alto, right? Now, sí. esas son las preguntas de sí, ¿no? Ahora, las preguntas de WH son mucho más fáciles. Por ejemplo, what is your last name? Last name. So, con esa parte de what is your last name, hacemos lo mismo. Can you tell me? Me puede decir. Can you tell me? Ya no necesito if porque no es una pregunta de sino, sino que what lo voy a mantener. Y ya estuvo. Uh, Francisco, can you tell me what is your name? Uh, I mean, what is your last name? Esta pregunta está bien, pero para efectos gramaticales, 
vamos a tener que cambiar el orden para que la segunda parezca una oración normal. Entonces, el is, tenemos your last name, sujeto, verbo. Vamos a cambiar el orden. Can you tell me what your last name is? Esa es la forma más común de utilizar el verbo be en las preguntas indirectas. Can you tell me what your name is? Can you tell me what your last name is? Can you tell me what your favorite color is? Pero si se fijan, eh, ya desaparece el if, right? Voy a utilizar what, when, where. Esas sí las utilizo en una pregunta de que ya ten, tenga la WH question. Uh -huh. Um, ¿Un poquito más claro? Mm, ¿Se puede utilizar U también? Claro, por ejemplo, eh, tengo acá Who is, who is your mother, for example, right? Okay. Entonces, uh, hey, me pregunto, I wonder, no le voy a agregar if, le voy a agregar a who. So, who uh -huh. is your mother? Again, esta está bien, no es necesario que cambie todo, pero cuando estoy hablando, cuando lo estoy escribiendo, el orden sí me va a cambiar. Cuando lo estoy escribiendo, si se recuerda, en el primer nivel, vieron que se cambiaba el orden. Por ejemplo, sujeto y el verbo be, se hace esto. Sí. Ya, yeah. vaya ahora acá, lo que voy a hacer es a ponerlo como en el orden original. Entonces tengo sujeto y el verbo to be. I wonder who your mother is. Entonces es lo mismo, sigue siendo una pregunta, mm -hmm. pero para efectos gramaticales, you know, cuando lo escribo, sobre, sobre todo cuando se escribe o es súper formal, esa es la forma correcta. Pero si no, si está hablando, eh, se comprende perfectamente si yo le digo, I wonder who is your mother. Está bien, you know, para cuando hablamos, right? When we are speaking. Mm -hmm. Um, este ejercicio uh, y este tema lo tiene en la unidad número 3. So, um, ya que tenemos ahora el, la terminación de la sesión 3, revise los ejercicios, right? Puede revisar la clase okay. del día de ayer y del día viernes, que fue donde más practicamos este tema. En cualquier duda, let me know eh, para poder también guiarlo. Yo no know, sé si todavía han quedado dudas del if y del what, pero creo que ahora queda... Tiene ya como una idea, right? Como armarlas. How to sí, sí, make sí, those sí. Questions. Ahora sí. Vaya, perfecto. Eh, me avisa si tiene alguna dificultad con los ejercicios and uh, voy a quedarme pendiente. Gracias, Francisco, por unirse en I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Thank you. Muchas gracias, Welcome. teacher. Welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.